welcome to the Amber Shows. Happy holiday weekend. You guys drive safe, be safe. If I were you, I would just stay home with so many good movies on Amazon, on Netflix, on Netflix now every month. They add, they have new additions. Uh, this month, they have some really great shows. I'll get into that, what shows are, go, are, are uh, coming up for uh, this month. But first, I have to start off with this news. Um, a Florida woman, she was arrested uh, for uh, defecating on her boss's desk. She won $3 million in the lottery last week, and she was so excited. Uh, she, the whole weekend, she said she ate Mexican food, uh, held her boo-boo the entire weekend. Boo-boo is shit, by the way. And got to work Monday morning, went in her boss's office, closed the door, and went in, got on top of his desk, and she started shitting all of that food out that she had eaten the entire weekend. She said she had taken his shit for the last three years uh, working there, and now it's time for him to take her shit. I love it. She was arrested, but the best part about it is she could make the bail. She said it was all worth it, and she loved it. You know, speaking of bosses, and you know, it's, you got to treat people right, because nowadays people... Um, they, they, they go crazy. They snap. You know, I watch snapped all the time, but now everybody's snapping, it seems like. So, you know, it's really best if you get into any type of confrontations to either say sorry or walk away. It's really not worth it, especially during the holidays, uh, like now where people are traveling. traveling. They said there is so much road rage and that uh, people are being killed in road rage incidents. Someone cuts you off, just live to see another day. Keep it moving. Egos get involved and people are just killing each other. Uh, in New York, my home, um, Bronx Lebanon Hospital, uh, yesterday was a big shooting. Uh, an ex-doctor employee, he was a physician there, uh, went in. He had been fired in 2015, so he's been holding his rage a long time. He, the the uh, doctor who was on the board who had him fired uh, was not there, it turns out, but he ended up killing one doctor who uh, is a doctor who was there temporarily, not even a doctor who's usually on the 16th and 17th floor there at Bronx, Lebanon, Bronx uh, um, Presbyterian Hospital. I'm sorry, I think I might have said Bronx Lebanon. It's Bronx Presbyterian uh, Hospital. And uh, he shot uh, five people. Uh, the other two doctors that he shot, uh, one uh, was shot in the hand and he's uh, having extensive surgery. They're saying he will be able to use his hand again but another one is in critical condition, and one dead. So, you know, uh, and then he, the, the shooter ended up killing himself. He came dressed uh, in his scrubs and was able to get past, had a, a rifle and was able to get past the security there. Uh, I have a niece that works at, at, at uh, Bronx Presbyterian, and I'm just happy that um, she was, and she works on that floor, and she knew those doctors, uh, but she wasn't there yesterday. yesterday. She was out in the field. Okay, um, everything to Trump, you know, is, you know, we don't call him Trump. We call him number 45. Um, we don't have to say his name. Uh, I very seldom talk about him, but I have to talk about this. Everything is fake news to Trump. Uh, everything is fake news to him unless it's written on the uh, bathroom wall uh, at a Ku Klux Klan meeting, and then it's not fake news. Um, there are so many racist situations that are going on right now all over the country. Did you know that many racist situations that happen, uh, people don't even report them. They barely report them. Uh, right now, it's not even in the, it hasn't been in the news. I haven't, I've, I haven't seen any big deal about it. In Mississippi, two black men's uh, bodies, heads, were found uh, in Mississippi. A black man's head without a body was found on someone's porch on their front porch, and the news that did cover it had the nerve to say maybe it was gang related. Um, I don't think so. Uh, gangs don't usually have, you know, cut off people's heads. Uh, also, uh, a, a black torso, a man, uh, it was a black man, just his torso was found. His head and legs and arms were not found. And that also was a black man in Mississippi. Um, the racists are out full circle, 
Many nooses have been found in Washington, D.C. at the African uh, Museum. Uh, uh, there was a noose found in the bathroom twice. Uh, there's also, there was a, a noose found uh, in some schools in Washington, D.C. Uh, and also there were some nooses found at another uh, big institution in Washington, D.C. The races are out because number 45 has made them feel comfortable that they can now come out and say anything that they want to. Um, also, uh, I told you about the hit, oh, Tails. Have you guys seen um, Tails yet? It's a T-A-L-E-S. Um, you get a chance, look, a, look in your guide. Uh, Irv Gotti has a new program. Uh, it's a series out, and uh, it's really interesting. Uh, he, what he did was he turned all stories around for in, as far as in black situations. So uh, there was a white guy being uh, hung. That was they found his body hanging from a noose, and how the white people, uh, you know, uh, protested about it. How a white guy was in his car, a young white boy and his friends. Black police pulled up and shot them all up uh, and uh, got away with it. So what he did was he, he wanted to show uh, different black situations, racist situations that happens to us and turn it around so that white people can see what it feels like, what we are feeling, what we're dealing with. Uh, and it's, it's a really good concept. I really like it. So check out Tales when you get a chance. And it's T-A-L-E-S. Uh, also, um, tornadoes have been touching down uh, lately uh, all over. A tornado actually touched, touched down in my birthplace uh, in West Michigan. It was confirmed. Uh, and that was yesterday, and I hope uh, everyone is safe and sound there. Um, also, 17 people were shot at a Little Rock, Arkansas um, nightclub last night. Um, so, somebody got in an argument and it turned into a big thing with guns. Did you know, now you know I'm always talking about health and being healthy. Okay, now I always get the vegetable crisps, okay? You know, I get the kettle, the kettle cooked potato chips when I want to have something to crunch on, and I get the vegetable crisp. You know, they, they look like vegetables, like, they look like french fries, crunch, crunch, crispy french fries, but they're all supposed to be like, uh, you know, all different types of vegetables. They even have the round ones too in the bags. Well, it turns out that a bag contains only two thirds of vegetables. That the bag is consistent. Uh, it's really more of salt and oil. It has more fat than a thing of Pringles, you know, tube of pr Pringles. And also, it's double the fat of a Mars bar. Okay? I just had some, some vegetable crisps the other day. Uh, what can we eat? Can't eat anything. The USDA does nothing. They just put, they, they, they're passing all types of things through us. Make sure that when you're cooking your vegetables, eating your fruits, your fresh fruits, make sure you wash them good. I use alkaline water. Alkaline water is the best water that you can drink. Um, if you can get it, or we own the machine. Um, if you, you can look, you should look it up uh, and Google it and research it. Uh, make sure that you're cleaning your vegetables and your fruits really good. The outsides are filled with pesticides. Make sure you clean off all of your vegetables and all of your fruits. Don't just rinse them off. Remember, they've been transported from a place in a truck. When they were, when they were picked from the ground, you know, there were rodents on it and snakes on it, and it comes out of the ground with, you know, from manure to keep it, you know, uh, growing. And then it's transported in boxes, and you've got some have worms in them, and then you got to get them into the in trucks, and then you got to send them to grocery stores, and then the grocery stores put them out, and the grocery stores put them up at night, and they put them out, and then you have rodents in stores who might be nibbling on them, and then there are pesticides that were in the, when they were in the ground. Make sure you wash your vegetables and your fruit really, really good. Um, also, um, let's talk about the. The children, it's a conspiracy, supposedly. Uh, this guy was on television the other day, and he was talking about uh, Mars. Okay, it takes six to nine months to get to Mars, and you know, NASA does secret missions all the time. They're, usually they say when it rains really hard, that's when they're, they're messing around up there in the sky, up in the solar system. So uh, this guy, he came out and he was saying that there's so many missing children, and he believes that they're these, these, these people are taking 
uh, children and sending them to Mars and they're keeping them there until they're like for like 20 years and they're building colonies so that's just a little something to think about conspiracy theories I am a conspiracy theorist I need to hear more about what they're gonna do with them but I do believe that this this planet Earth uh, is not only being becoming more populated but we're because of the climate control now the greenhouse effect we are ruining this particular planet and I'm sure there are people trying to get to other planets and they have to they have to have people there in order to populate so I mean it's not that far-fetched um, also remember lasting happiness uh, is related to your state of mind uh, you know you can be temporarily happy you can be happy because you're going to uh, Disney World this weekend you can be happy because you're in the pool you can be happy uh, because someone loves you or you love someone um, but remember uh, happiness is really your state of mind that's how you're happy all the time you have to think happy all the time um, okay what about, did you hear about Kylie and Kendall Jenner the Kardashian sisters they're not the last name is not Kardashian they're the, but they're the Kardashian family uh, the two youngest sisters they had they were selling t-shirts uh, you know their things sell out fast Kim Kardashian just came out with um, uh, a highlighter where you highlight your face and contour your face um, and it sold out like in an hour like she made like 20 million dollars in an hour and uh, her sister, the sister uh, Kylie she constantly sells out of her makeup line and lip line and she has lip plumpers well they did her and this, the two sisters Kylie and Kendall did a t-shirt line and uh, uh, it turns out they were putting a Biggie's picture on there on the face of their shirts they were putting uh, Tupac's pictures on the face of the shirts uh, one of the guys from the uh, group uh, the rock group The Doors um, so the, the, the Biggie's fam mother sent out a cyst and a cease right away to them uh, the attorney sent out a cyst and a cease to stop the sale of the shirts but the shirts had sold out in one hour they were $150 a t-shirt uh, but they did pull everything out of all the stores and now they're being threatened uh, with lawsuits uh, from Biggie's estate uh, Tupac's uh, his estate is really ran by lawyers he didn't have any uh, children he wasn't married and his mom has since passed so his estate has, has gone to some someone else I don't know who has the rights to his estate um, so anyway they need to know better they're in business their mother is their their momager and she's very smart Kris Jenner and uh, so she, they, they should have known better. I don't know how they thought they could get away with that Did they think that they could just do that I don't understand how do you think you could take the images of Tupac and Biggie and put them on shirts and sell them like you on 125th Street. It doesn't work like that. Um, some of the movies on Netflix I was telling you about that's coming out for July. Uh, one is called Best in Show. Uh, the Titanic is coming out. Uh, Star Wars Story. Uh, the the uh, incredible uh, Jessica James. Ozark. Um, Amazon has uh, movies coming out as well this month. Uh, new movies and also Homebox, so check those out. Um, Joe Jackson, uh, he was in a car accident. Joe Jackson is about, what is he, like 150 years old about now? Something always happened to him, but you know, he, he stay alive. He uh, was in a car accident, I think uh, he had a, someone else driving his, a Jaguar, and uh, he uh, was not hurt bad. Uh, uh, his uh, driver had broke his thumb, uh, but Joe Jackson is, uh, resting comfortably okay you guys I just wanted to tell you have a wonderful weekend be safe and instead of um, having to deal with firecrackers lots of traffic hot weather heat waves um, road rage and a lot of mad angry people out here in the world stay home and watch Netflix or Amazon movies or Hula or Voodoo or any other channel just go through your television and enjoy yourself or read a good book. I, on Kindle, I have lots of good books and I, I think I'm going to do some really good reading on my books. And uh, I love you guys and thank you for coming to the Amber Shows. I'll get back to you before the weekend is over. Thank you. Love you.